Hi guys, it's Kirby Johnson, and if you want a cream that does it all, whether you want silky soft hair or skin, you're gonna wanna stay tuned for this DIY. Here's what you'll need. One tablespoon glycerin, one cup coconut oil, two tablespoons sweet almond oil, one tablespoon argan oil, and the best part is you can find all of this at the drugstore. Our first step is just to take your coconut oil, scoop one cup into a bowl, Meanwhile, you wanna have a pot of water that's boiling because we're going to create something called a double boiler by just taking your pot and then putting your bowl inside of it. And what this will do is actually heat up any content consistently. Now that your coconut oil has completely melted, remove it from the double boiler. Be careful because it might be hot. Just let it sit. We're gonna let it get to room temperature. Turn off your stove and do not throw out this water. Because it's been boiled, it's antibacterial, and we wanna save that for our spray later. Now we're going to mix in our two other oils. So take two tablespoons of sweet almond oil, and add that into your coconut oil. And if you're allergic to almonds or sweet almond oil, you can use jojoba oil or olive oil. The reason why I like sweet almond though is because it contains vitamin E, and vitamin E is actually going to preserve this cream and this leave-in conditioner so it'll last you a few months. And now it's time to add one tablespoon of argan oil. This is Josie Marin's. It's one of my favorites. And argan oil is known for its amazing skin and hair benefits. It's so emollient, so moisturizing, and it has a lot of anti-aging properties too. Now that all of our oils are combined, we're going to refrigerate this for 15 to 30 minutes so it solidifies because this is gonna give it a really nice creamy texture. After you've put all of your oils in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes, the top should start to solidify, but you don't want it to be rock hard. If you put your finger in here, it should be able to make an impression like this just did. And now you know it's time to whip it. So grab your mixer, then mix it until it gets to be this really nice whipped cream consistency. I know this looks really delicious, very similar to whipped cream. Just don't eat it. Instead, grab your glycerin, and you're going to put one tablespoon in this mixture. What glycerin does, it's going to act like a shield for your hair cuticle. It's going to smooth it out. It's also going to make your face really nice and silky soft, and your body as well. So put a little bit in. Now mix it all together. I like to add a little bit of color. I just happen to have some soap coloring on hand. So you just wanna shave this, melt it, and then mix it in with the rest of the cream. Now the cream is finished, and in terms of packaging, there are a few options. If you want it for a face and body cream, just use a large jar. If you want a nice travel lip balm, you can put it in a small jar. Or alternatively, if you want this to be a leave-in conditioner, grab your favorite spray bottle, fill it up halfway with water and halfway with some of the melted cream. Remember to keep these stored at room temperature. And if you did add soap coloring, don't worry, it won't dye your hair if you do include it in your spray bottle. I'm Kirby, and we'll see you next time on Pop Sugar Beauty.